Hey everyone, today I want to share an experience that might help some of you avoid a common pitfall when building a PC. I recently assembled a system using a Ryzen 5 g processor and MSA 52MA Pro motherboard. After completing the build, I powered it on and while the fans spun and lights came on, there was no display output. The easy deb LED on the motherboard showed a solid white light on the CPU indicator signaling a problem. Initially I was puzzled. I double checked all connections, receipted components and even tried different peripherals but the issue persisted. After some research I discovered that the root of the problem was compatibility. The Ryzen 5 g is a 10 generation processor based on the Zen architecture whereas the A520 chipset motherboards are designed to support third generation as Zen 2 and newer CPUs. This means that out of the box rather the A5 peripheral doesn't support the 34 g leading to the boot failure. If you're in a similar situation don't worry there's a workaround. While the motherboard doesn't support the 3400G's integrated graphics, you can bypass this limitation by installing a dedicated graphics card. Uh, by connecting your display to the GPU instead of the motherboard's video outputs, the system can boot successfully as the dedicated GPU handles the display output. This solution worked for me and my system is now running smoothly. However, if you have the option, it's advisable to check the motherboard CPU compatibility list before purchasing components. Tools like PC Part Picker can help ensure that all your parts are compatible, saving you time and frustration. If returns are possible, consider exchanging incompatible components for ones that work together seamlessly. I didn't use PC Part Picker or check the motherboard's official support list, and that's what led to all this mess. So if you're a beginner or someone who's in a hurry, please don't skip that step. It'll save you time, money, and a lot of stress. Alright, let's test this out again. I'm going to unplug the HDMI cable from the dedicated graphics card and plug it directly into the motherboard's HDMI port. Let's see if anything shows up on the screen just to double check. Yeah, no signal, a black screen. So as you guys can see, if we're not using a graphics card and try to rely on the integrated graphics from the Ryzen 5 3400G with this A520 motherboard, it just doesn't work. This confirms the issue is with compatibility. So yeah, I hope this video helps you if you've been stuck with a similar problem. And if it did, consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel for more helpful PC build tips and tech fixes. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.